SharePoint libraries are places where you can store and edit documents, presentations, spreadsheets, as well as PDFs, photos, and more. You'll typically find a team site document library as a small app part on the home page, but the link on the side quick launch opens the more useful full view of the library. Using your web browser, it's easy to drag in files so the whole team can access them. And it's easy to share files with others. SharePoint emails a link to the file so everyone sees the same document as it's updated. This means there's no need to email multiple separate attachments of the same file to several people. Site members can edit files right in the library or open and save to SharePoint directly from Microsoft Office programs. What's more, certain library files, such as Word documents, can be edited simultaneously by multiple people. On the other hand, you can check out to prevent others from making changes while you edit a file. When library versioning is enabled, documents are automatically backed up as they're edited, so you can see a record of the document changes. Here, previous versions can be reviewed and, if necessary, restored. Deleted files are stored in the SharePoint Recycle Bin for a period of time and can be restored if needed. Library files can be organized into folders, but SharePoint has a more powerful organization method. Specialized views allow library documents to be sorted by their metadata, so you can filter and group a list of files in different ways. Check out other clips where we go into detail on these features and more to help you get the most out of SharePoint's time-saving document libraries.